Hi everyone. If you have been using ChatGPT, you have probably heard of ChatGPT projects. It's one of the latest features of ChatGPT and it is honestly a game changer. It's a lifesaver for me. I have a little bit of an OCD, so I like to keep my things structured and I use ChatGPT a lot. And I also like to save time. So all of it put together, ChatGPT is my newest love. In this video, I'm going to share with you everything about what it is, how to set it up, how to access it, how to use it. And I'll also share with you some examples that I have done to streamline some of my content workflows. So let's dive in. First of all, what is the chat GPT project and what is the difference with a chat uh, with the custom GPT? So here, when you go in the interface on the left, this is my chat GPT plus version. And here you see projects over here. And these are custom GPTs on the top, right? And if you go to the free version of my chat GPT, I don't have either projects or custom GPTs. So a lot of these custom GPTs you can use if you have a plus plan and the same goes for projects. From what I hear, they are going to make it available for free users as well. But for now, chat GPT project is only available for plus users. Now, custom GPTs are, if you go to explore GPTs over here, you would see a lot of these custom GPTs. So you can use them for various tasks. And a lot of coding has gone into the back end of this to make it give the prompts exactly and give the output the way you want it and for a specific task. So for example, you have AI humanizer, you have some for writing, some for productivity, some for research. All of these have been done by developers at the back end. Now, when ChatGPT projects was not there, I used to create my own custom GPTs and they were available only for my use, but the, I did not do any coding in them. It was more, um, you know, like, how do I want my, my output to be? How do I want, you know, the tone of voice to be? What kind of brand guidelines do I need to keep it in my, uh, do I need the GPT to keep in mind? So all of these instructions, I would give at the back end one time, and then it would always deliver output in that way. But now with projects, I don't need that anymore because it does essentially the same thing. And again, custom GPTs have a, a bit more programming and coding. You may, need not have it, but most of these at least do. And in projects, you can have that as well, but you can do that for very simple tasks. So anyone can use a, a chat GPT project. It's much more easier to handle, especially why? Because they are kind of like a hub, you know, like, like a resource uh, hub where you can save all your projects and you kind of have like files under them, if you will. So here you have like a social, I have social content writer. And if I click here, for example, you will see exactly what it shows. See more. I don't know why that's not happening. Go back. I think I need to go up to ChatGPT then it will show you. Yes. So here you have these are all my folders, and under each I have different files. So for example, I have a social content writer, and I just go to social content writer, and I've given it certain inputs at the back end in instructions over here. We'll come to that in a second, and then I have all my files under these, right? And I can rename all of these files as well. So if I just start a chat, I don't name a chat in the beginning. It kind of assigns a name to the chat immediately but you can also rename them so all you have to do to set up projects is you just click on this plus let's just do one and then you can just give a name to it and once the name is there you can go and assign a color and sorry here you can give instructions in two ways one is you can add files as reference for it to analyze read remember categorize etc a lot of data and documents you can give in the files and here you give the instructions specifically what you want chat gpt to do the project to do what kind of output you want it to get um what kind of format you want the output to be in what kind of tone of voice you want it to be in what kind of value proposition it needs to keep in mind so all of these things you can put in in the instructions 
and it doesn't even have to be extremely fancy i'm going to show you a few examples later right it doesn't have to be a very specific prompt in a very technical way no you just have to train it a little bit you might have to try it a few times to see exactly how you need it but it can understand and deliver results exactly the way you need i'm going to show you in a few examples so anyway how do we use it now so you have your projects as i said and you give the instructions and every time you want a new uh task a new chat a new conversation you just start typing it here and what i do is i just say okay now let's say under social content writer i have given it instructions for a linkedin copywriter as an instagram copywriter a youtube script writer i have given all the instructions at the back end now when i want uh an output for example i just say i need a linkedin post on this topic right now it goes and looks up that oh you have uh you know this is the way you want your post to be this is the format you want it to be this is the number of words you want it to be this is the tone of voice you want it to be this is like oh you want emojis or you don't want emojis you want hashtags you don't want hashtags so all of these instructions can be you know given here you can also upload it in a file and add it over here, like as a Word file or as an Excel sheet or whatever. You can just put it in over here. And then if I say, okay, I want you to look at like an Instagram uh, post, then it will refer to the instructions I gave for an Instagram post and then it will write it accordingly. Now the interesting thing is how do you go and find it, right? So let's say I am working on, you know, in, in product uh, product management and i need to remember oh what was an instagram post i wrote a few days ago right so i just go back to my project it's just i like, think of it just as like folders and files so this is my folder and these are my files and i can immediately find them i can also look for them over here sometimes i ha hunt for it over here and it's like okay i wrote this linkedin post okay or i wrote this uh carousel um where is it it didn't find the crew because i spelled it wrong so and here it found two three chats in which perusal was mentioned so it's super easy to find it like that as well right i barely like i don't even use these so much anymore i only use my projects and I, as you can see you can set up projects for all kinds of tasks now i have everything from strategy and planning to output to to the final result right so let's see a few of them that i set up i have content planning i have product management i have image generator email copywriter website content writing which includes my seo i haven't named it differently but yeah it also includes that then because for me website content most of the time includes seo um then i even have one for coding needs so if i get stuck on something when i'm building a website if i get stuck on something then it's like okay how do i fix this right so then i can ask chat gpt for help as well in my case i use elementor pro so i have already trained it that hey you need to give me the code for elementor pro and tell me where i should add it how i should add it etc right i also have ads image generator as well you can have a project for to generate images you can have uh, and then i have email and etc etc right so these are all the projects that i have set up to simplify my content creation workflows and content management workflows now i promised you an example so let's look into it so let's say i, I i'll show you two examples so one is um social content writer now i have a uh, instagram let me see i have an instagram cruise template which looks like this so this is my first slide then then it has these right and it has the ender slide right and i have set that up in my templates so this is the this is the template i will use for my carousel now what i have done is i have broken that up into two parts one is just the number the step number so this is like nine steps on how to do something it's a step number and i have one which is just the intro and the end here this is the one so it's just got the intro and the end slide and this one the last one is wrong but yeah just the intro it's, it's just repeated it's fine um okay so now i have one for intro and end and one for just the slide numbers now i 
did a separate video i'm going to link it in this description as well where i showed you how i used chat gpt to create to automatically create this carousel from a blog post so i repurposed a blog post from chat gpt uh, from um to an instagram carousel using chat gpt and canva right so here what i did is in chat gpt for example i go to my social content writer and i say okay i want you to repurpose a blog post for me so i say i go to what was the one i recently looked at i think it was this one how to optimize images for seo so it's like nine easy steps to optimize your images for seo right so i can just take this and then i go to chat gpd and i'm going to show you here um, because i've already done this before so here i say turn this into a carousel output this is the blog post remember the instructions for the carousel and the format of output now what it does is it downloads an excel sheet here right it just downloads an excel sheet and the excel sheet it just it reads the blog post it creates a headline it creates the steps how it should be put it in the carousel and it also creates a little write-up that i can add along with my post so it just gives me an excel sheet now i'm going to open up the excel sheet and show you how it looks So here you have the step numbers. Here you have the step headline, step paragraph one, and step paragraph two. Okay. And I'm going to show you in Canva how that looks like. So here, this is my step number. This is my step headline. This is my first paragraph. And this is my second paragraph. So all that I do is, and again, there's a separate video on this. All that I do is I use a bulk create app in Canva. I open this template up template which also needs canva pro by the way so i open this up and i upload this excel sheet and it automatically generates the carousel for me so it generates these whatever five six seven eight steps for me it puts the number here it puts the headline here and it puts the two paragraphs here and then voila my carousel is done so all that i have to do is use the template and two things i do essentially i use the template and i use the because its instructions are given then i get the excel sheet and i use it and i just put it in the template and my carousel is done it is that easy it, it's you know it's so helpful to be able to do it like that what this excel sheet also does is it gives me the headline so because remember i told you that the intro and output um the intro and end are in a different uh file because otherwise it cannot create the bulk uh, app cannot create it like that so i have the headline which this i put manually and this is my little write-up that i can just add to the post and then i just schedule it for whenever i want it to go out right so that's how i use the chat gpt project to just give one command with one line and it does everything i don't have to do it again and again and again right that is super helpful now i want to show you another example for an email copywriting so here this is my email copywriter and i have given it a lot of instructions about my tone of voice about my brand positioning about you know uh how it should really address the reader and then i have said okay now you need to mark it out for me where like my brand emails my tone of voice ha needs to have empathy it needs to show my expertise and it needs to make small business owners feel empowered because that's very important for me so empathy expertise and empowerment and then i say in the email instructions i have said now when you write the email highlight where you have included this right so if i think that that's not enough like of course i should get a sense of it by while reading the email but if i think that's not enough then i'm going to uh you know have to have to just do some adjustments what i have also done is i have uploaded like a project file here so what i have uploaded is email marketing trends right and i have said okay refer to this file every time you write the email and use something you know that is here make it relevant as per the trends and point out to me where you have written 
the where you have you know uh, mentioned the trend right so this is the request that i gave just before i did this video i tried it out just to make sure that it was capturing everything that i needed to capture but write an email newsletter to my audience and how they can save two hours a week on content creation with smart automations remember the instructions i gave you i don't know if i have to always put that but sometimes i feel like if i put it then the outputs are more on point so i do that so then i just 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 add that in right remember the instructions the references or files whatever i just add that in and then it writes this email for me and over here you see dynamic customization right a 2023 trend it says right so it's telling me it is not 25 um to automate automate personalized email content and there here it refers to the email marketing trend so it has referred to the file and you can see when i'm hovering on it it shows me the name of the file as well email marketing trends and smart insights.pdf right and here it shares says over, after it has finished the email it says how it has acknowledged the expertise empathy and empowerment in this email now of course if i'm not happy with that i can go on editing it but that's another story here the point is how you can set up the instructions and use the chat gpt projects to create con content and to manage content and to plan content and website and everything that you need about content and websites but that is only my field of expertise you can have you can use it of course for your financial management for your task management i think as a calendar as well um to um what else like admin tasks everything right actually i have one admin task assistant and custom gpd i'm going to bring that down to here which is just for sorting data you know catalog cataloging researching things like that okay um i have not used this feature but i believe that this can also be shared with your like your team members with your with you know like for example if you're managing freelancers and you want to uh give them give a chat gpd project an instruction and you want the your freelancer to be right to be writing something and also to take care of that these things are being followed by chat gpd then you kind of share that project with them but i have not tried that honestly so i cannot tell you how that works perfectly but that is all i can tell you now about chat gpt projects it has three main benefits chat gpt projects has three main benefits it saves you time it organizes your work and it gives you more control on the output i use it for content creation for seo and everything related to websites but you can use it for a lot of other different projects and just in general to stay productive to manage your workload to manage your efficiencies and so much more and there you go that was my whole rundown on how you can use chat gpt projects on how i use chat gpt projects to manage my content workflows if you want 75 more tips on how you can save time on creating profitable websites and content do check out my playbook of content efficiency i'll link it in the description you'll also get signed up to my newsletter obviously and whenever i have content to share on how you can save time because that's all you know i'm all about that so i will send you tips and videos and things that i come across and even articles so yeah let's stay connected and if you want to check out my video on how you can use chat gpt and canva to bulk create and to create instagram carousels in like five minutes do check out my video it's also over here it's also in the description let me know how it goes and see you soon